You ever notice how the smallest rule you keep to yourself end up deciding the shade of your life? Not the big moments, not the breakthroughs, but the quiet, ordinary rules no one sees. The ones that sound too small to matter, like I don't scroll before bed, I journal for five minutes daily, I show up even if I'm not in the mood. They don't look heroic, but they are the architecture of change. Because in your science, there is this truth: your brain lacks predictability. Every time you repeat an action, the neurons responsible for it wire together. That's called habitian learning. Neurons that fire together wire together. When you follow a rule repeatedly, your brain starts automating that behavior. It frees up energy, builds myelination around those neural pathways. And slowly turns effort into ease. That's how habits are born. But deeper than that, that's how identity forms. Sometimes I look at my Notion page called Rules. It's not fancy, just two columns. One says filter for, the other says filter out. But this page quietly runs my life. It's not about control. It's about alignment. Reminding myself who I want to be when the noise. Gets too loud. There are six things I choose to filter in, and ten things I choose to filter out. Let me tell what they are, and more importantly, why. Filter four. First, connect with quality people daily. Human connections release oxytocin, a chemical that literally tells your brain you're safe. But not everyone activates that signal. Some people drain your energy; others expand it. So I made this. A rule to reach out only to people who makes me feel awake or positive at least, because I don't want to collect contacts. I want to build resonance. Second, take supplements. It sounds simple, but our brains run on biology. Even a small deficiency, vitamin D, B12, magnesium changes our, our mood, focus, and motivation. This rule isn't about vanity; it's about brain chemistry. I don't want my mind to run on empty. Third, go to gym three days a week at least. Every time you move, your brain releases BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a kind of fertilizer for your neurons. I don't go to the gym to look better. I go to remember that. Movement is medicine, and that medicine is not restriction; it's self-respect. Fourth, always appreciate even when there are mistakes. This rule rewires my communication. In psychology, what you focus on expands. When you start with appreciation, the brain's mirror neurons activate empathy. I used to think kindness made me weak. Now I see it's the strongest form of awareness. Fifth, follow stocks. Lesson and trade with awareness. Day trading taught me something science never could: emotional regulation and pressure. When you stare at candlestick charts, every second is dopamine, cortisol, and adrenaline in conversation. To survive it, you have to master your nervous system. That's why this rule exists: to train, focus, patience, and surrender. And sit. Practice English till I sounds like a native. Language changes thought. Each word creates a new mental framework. This rule isn't about accent; it's about access. I want to express my inner world exactly as I feel it in any language. Now the harder side, the things I filter out. These are the rules that I protect my peace. First, no social media when I wake up because the first ten minutes after waking up decides your Cortisol baseline. If chaos is the first thing your brain sees, you spend the whole day trying to find calm again. Second, avoid using social media for 10 minutes straight with no purpose. That's dopamine management. Every school train your reward system to crave stimulation over depth. This rule brings my attention back home. Third, no micromanagement. I used to think control equals Efficiency. Now I think it's it equals anxiety. Trust builds better outcomes than supervision ever will. Fourth, avoid regret after re- reflection. When I journal or realize my thoughts, I remind myself reflection is for learning, not for punishment. The brain needs 
safety to integrate lessons. Fifth, sleep no later than two o'clock at night because after midnight your prefrontal cortex, the rational part, starts shutting down. Late night overthinking is just your tired brain misfiring. This rule protects mind clarity. Sixth, no procrastination regardless of situation. Delaying task gives a false hit of dopamine. It's comfort disguised as control. So I taught myself: start now, think later. Seven. No eating three hours before sleep. Digestive rest equals better deep sleep. This rule isn't about diet; it's about brain restoration. Eight. No phone one hour before sleep. The blue light delays melatonin, and honestly, my mind needs to hear itself again before I sleep. Nine. No multitasking because the brain can actually do two things at once. It just switches fast, losing depth each time. This rule gives my thoughts space to breathe. Every one of these rules is a boundary around my focus. Each is a way of seeing. I take myself serious enough to design my life consciously. And when I forget who I am, I don't look for motivation anymore. I look at my notion page because habit ain't. Cages. They are coordinates, literally a map that leads you back to your most honest self. Take a breath, let that sink in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.